Now that I have my course, I want to start formatting and adding content. So I'm going to make sure that my editing is on. And the first thing I want to do is add a title to this course. So to do that, I have to click this Edit Summary icon. It looks like a little pad and pencil. And you'll notice that this is called an HTML editor, and this is the editing window. And a lot of these icons look familiar. You've seen them and used them in a Word document editor. And you know I can go left, right, center. I can change my font type. It's limited, but there's a few choices. I can change the size. These headings are more choices. The language I can choose. We can bold, italicize, underline, all the standard editing features. We'll go over what all these other ones are later. Once I've made my choices, I save changes. The next thing I want to do is I want to change this news forum to announcements. So there's also an editing button here called update. This looks like, again, the pad and the pencil. I click that. And I just want to change the title of this to announcements. And then I will ab then I'm able to put announcements in here. And I'm going to change this um, subscription to yes initially. This keeps uh, students from getting a lot of emails. So we'll uh, track this form. That's optional. Again, the upload limit size is 2 megabytes. And I'm not going to worry about all these other things right now. Just save and display. Go back to our course. Now you see it says announcements. The next thing I want to do is I want to put the objectives of the course in here and I'm going to use something called insert a label under resources. And we'll talk about these resources in another lesson. All you need to do to know right now is, is that we're going to insert a label. And I've already typed this out, so I can just pop it right in there. So again, we have the same HTML editor. And I'm use and I just use that. Another nice feature of this is that if you can't see everything, this is called enlarging the editor. So I can get a nice big uh, window to work in. I have to minimize that again to save it. Once I'm done editing, save and return to course. And here's my objectives. I'm going to turn editing off. This is basically what a student sees.